have an interesting review for you. It's uh, really received quite a bit of praises. It's a small 3-inch quad. It's the HGLRC uh, BX145. Um, it's <laughs> just can't wait to fly it. It looks like something special. Um, it weighs 132 grams uh, dry weight and it's um, 142 um, millimeter length from uh, motor to motor and side to side it's a stretched X so it's uh, 92 millimeters uh, this way by length it's 110 millimeters. It's made out of 3 uh, mil carbon and uh, the frame weighs 29 grams uh, according to what the box or the literature says. Um, the motors, uh, they're, um, they're, they can have a name on them, Flame, and they're H, uh, your HGLRC branded. They're the um, 1407 by 3600 KB motors. Uh, it should be a nice, powerful motor for this quad. Uh, the only thing that's really missing on here is a um, receiver. I have a SMX Plus that I'm going to put on there. Uh, tempted to put it underneath the uh, ESC board, but I have the strap going through there, so I'll have to find a small spot on there for the uh, SM Plus. It's a pretty small receiver. Uh, worst case is I think I'll be putting it up in that little platform there. Uh, let's see, the uh, stack, speaking of stacks, um, this is one of the uh, highlights of this, the HGLRC's uh, stack. It has a 28 amp uh, bottom layer there, uh, then it has an F4 uh, flight controller, and then it has their VTX that's switchable, I think it's 25, 100, 200, and uh, 3, um, let's see, and 350 milliwatt uh, power. And uh, uh, camera, it's a CCD uh, micro, it had, they, bring, they have a name of ELF on it, and it's a 2.3 uh, millimeter lens, which is not quite as wide angle as some of my other ones. I like the uh, 2.1 or even the 1.9 lens, but this should work great. Um, the propellers, they only give you one set of propellers. I'll probably be switching over to the gym fan, but uh, these propellers look nice. They match the motor tents and everything. Uh, oh, and it even has a buzzer and LED on it. It has a... Um, um, XT30 um, power cable. Uh, most of my batteries are the XT60s, uh, but I have a converter that will go from the smaller to the larger size battery. Um, so stay tuned and I'll um, be doing a test of this. Thank you. As you can see, this quad does have a lot of punch. really flies great. I can see why everybody has been praising this quad. Uh, for a 3 inch, it's uh, fantastic. It's one of the better ones that I've flown for a full size 3 inch. I am flying this with a 600 milliamp hour battery, which seems to be about the right size. Uh, I have also flown it with an 850 milliamp uh, battery, which is a little heavy, but it works too. It'll give you longer flight times, but I think a uh, 600, 650 is about the size to go with. Here I'm going to, I'm throwing it up in the air and doing a couple flips. As you can see, it <laughs> handles great. Uh, it doesn't have quite the weight of a 5-inch quad that you could throw up a little higher, but it's definitely more weight and more fun than the 2-inch uh, size quads for acrobatics. Here I'm doing some FPV flying around the park. Uh, this is a perfect size uh, quad. Um, the three inch for this park next to my house. Uh, the five inch quads, they scream a little bit too much and make people nervous. Uh, this one will make a few people a little nervous. It has a lot of power, but um, I think I could get by with it when there's not anyone around.
USD, I need to drop that a little bit on the screen and my uh, RSSI numbers aren't moving, so uh, I need to fix something there. Uh, but I really like the OSD, and it's a must-have thing now this year is any quad you fly, you like the OSD. Uh, the one thing I'm missing uh, that I have on my other quad now is um, it doesn't have smart audio. It'd be nice to be able to dial that in with the OSD also. For a quick list of the pros and cons, on pros, it has a lot of power. Uh, for the price, I don't think it could be beat. I, I see it's listed for about $150, and I paid $130 with a uh, discount coupon or code. Uh, comes with really nice components, uh, top-of-the-line electronics uh, with your 28-amp uh, BSC. Uh, HGLRC is noted for their electronics, and now they're getting into the quad building. For cons, there's not a lot. Uh, the props are real visible. Uh, that's perhaps with any stretch, you're, um, you're going to have a lot of prop visibility. Uh, another one is the battery strap is really bad. Uh, you need to replace that. And um, the VTX would be nice if it came with smart audio. Otherwise, it's a fantastic deal. For $130, you can't buy the parts. Questions or comments, please leave those below, and thanks for watching.